Hi, I'm Brett, and I work at the Saline County Library in Bryant. I'm here to tell you about our DigiPass. DigiPasses are a special kind of library card that give you access to all of our free online learning resources. To access our resources, you will need to use your DigiPass barcode number located on the back of the DigiPass. You'll also need to remember the PIN number 1234. If you already have a Saline County Library card, you can use that number instead to access our databases. To access our databases, go to salinecountylibrary.org, hover over the Resources tab at the top of the page, and then hit Online Research. From this list of databases, you can scroll down through the database categories to find Teens Research. Click this link, and it will take you to a page of helpful databases. Let's take a look at BrainFuse help now. Okay, and then click log in to help now after you've entered your card number. From the home page, they have live online tutoring. You can click on this, select your grade. Let's say you're in 10th grade and you need help in geometry. And then click on get live help. There's also access to a writing lab. If you're having any trouble with writing papers, you can upload a file straight from your computer and send it to a teacher who will correct your paper, give you feedback, and send it back. They won't fix it for you, but they will give you feedback and help you get a better grade. If you click on the Skill Surfer tab, this will bring up a menu for the different type of schools, so your high school, and you need help in physics, and you can see there are practice tests, flashcards, different units, subjects that you might need help with. Let's go back. Um, college entrance test prep. This is where you're going to find your ACT help. So if you click on ACT, maybe you need help with, let's see, math. You can find some practice tests here. Also on this page for the college entrance test prep, you can find the AP tests. So if you would like to take some practice tests for AP, this is where you can find some helpful info. Through BrainFuse, you can find some language help. This is called the Language Lab right here. You can select your subject. I think it yep, only offers Spanish, so if you need help in Spanish, you can check out BrainFuse. Let's go back to our database page. I'll show you another helpful database for if you are doing research. There is something called ProQuest. Okay, so ProQuest, say you're doing a paper in English class and you need to research Edgar Allan Poe. I'm going to type in his name here. And this is just a basic keyword search on the first page. So then if you look over here on the left side of the screen, you are receiving 21,619 results. You need to limit that automatically when you're doing searches. Limit your search to full text articles and peer reviewed will help you get a better selection. And that takes it down to just under 3,000 results. If you'd like to narrow more, you can narrow by the date or the subject, location, person, language, all kinds of things over on the side. One thing you want to know about ProQuest is up on the right-hand corner, there is a little question mark. You can find a help guide. Go to Training LibGuides and click on search tips proquest platform search tips this is a great page if you need help narrowing down your search and finding more accurate articles okay let's go back to the teens research page and our database categories over on the right hand side if you need help in your language classes we have some software called mango languages this has pretty much any language you could want to learn, including pirate. 
You do have to log in with your DigiPass number and then create an account. It looks like one of my colleagues emails is up, but this is where with your DigiPass log in and then you can use your email to create an account. Also through our databases, if you click on continuing education, we have something called Linda. This is a really cool site that gives you access to all kinds of learning videos. Let me get us logged in so we can take a quick look. Up at the top it says library and we're just going to take a peek at what they offer. So 3D animation, you can see the topics, the different software, learning paths. So if you're interested in one day becoming a 3D character animator, there are videos that can help you. Um, audio and music, all different kinds of videos for learning lots of different software. So if you're interested in any of these topics over here, this is a really cool place to go. Okay, let's go back to our website. And if you click on youth up here and click on the teens page, this takes you to upcoming events. We have some news over here for teens, quick links to our online research and staff recommendation lists, and then Mr. Brett and Ms. Jen, they have some staff bios on the page if you want to read a little bit about them. Okay, so that's about all I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions about using your DigiPass or your library card, there is contact information down at the bottom of our website for both the Bitten Library and the Bryant Library if you need to give us a call.